Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Adam and Steve, not Adam and Eve, the podcast where we take the bite. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> but just, just the small things that make me happy. <laughs> and that's like one of them. Spill the tea, take the bite, you know. You know, we just go there. All the things you do when you're talking some shit. Right, exactly. <laughs> so we're back and um, it's um, pretty much New Year's Eve. Yeah. Right, we're a couple days away. Yeah, we made it through Christmas. We did, which was fun, right? I yeah. mean, it was a little, it, little, yeah, like gathering. Yeah, it was a very small um, gathering of people who have already had COVID <laughs> <laughs> together. Yep, <laughs> all our it was our, 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 I guess we reunited. Yeah, with the people we were with on Thanksgiving. Yeah, when so we had gotten COVID. Yeah, mm. so it was it was fun though. Like yeah. we just kind of chilled out. We, George made some food. It was actually good. Yes, yes. George, my roommate, he made a uh, yeah pretty pretty good meal. Yeah, he yeah. wasn't trying to kill me with the salt this time. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you heard on a past episode. Right. He had a little bit of salty soup. She tried to kill me. No, but no, he, he he did. He worked hard. He made it some some good. Uh, Good food and yeah, I just made was. drinks. Yeah, it was yeah. no, it was it was really good. It was chill, mm-hmm. but you know, it was good. Yeah. Good time. I mean, we're we're our family here, so yeah, you know, who yeah. else were we going to be with? We didn't travel back home to you know our families, so it was kind of nice to. That's what's always great when I stay here. It's like we have yeah, we have people, you know, yeah. our 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 little crew. So yeah, that's um, great. If you guys would have left, I would have. You're like, what am I going to do? <laughs> no. when all, yeah, it, it's like we have each other and then like, yeah. So yeah. like New Year's is coming up and yeah, sounds like it's going to be a quiet one. Yeah, probably. Yeah. We, so, um, we've been trying to figure it out, but there's not, you know, I don't know. There's not that many options. You want to be safe. Mm-hmm. You, yeah. So. And I know we got the antibodies, but it's still hard yeah. to find things. It like, is. A lot, and, a lot yeah. of gays be going to Puerto Vallarta. So. I know. That's where everybody is going. Yeah. But I'm, I'm cool with passing on that yeah. this year, though. Like, the way I see it is, like, next year we'll be back to, like, raging. So Yeah. So. I would have been, like, if we did that, I would have had a plan way ahead of time. Exactly. You know. That's it. Well, yeah, you, you have to have a plan, but it's so hard to make plans. Mm-hmm. This it, It's been hard to make plans this yeah, year. Yeah, yeah. And, like, we just got co- over COVID, like, a month yeah. ago. So it's, like... We didn't know, you know, we were going to maybe feel a little more comfortable with doing that. But like then, you know, trying to plan that that short, that shorter notice, it would have been hard. Yeah. But honestly, um, I'm cool with 2020 being over. Bye, bitch. Yeah. See ya. You know. We've had enough. I mean, that's assuming 2021 is going to be better. Yeah. And I, I don't even want to say that aloud, but I can't imagine that it won't be better. I don't think it can get that much worse right um but i feel like it's up to all of us you know to make it a better year you know and to you know go out once it's available and get the vaccine and and just kind of take note of everything that happened this year outside of covid even you know politically and and you know with black lives matter and everything and just kind of right like reflect um, yeah yeah, and like move forward in in a more positive direction because it's been very negative year it has been but i'm ready i'm ready to move on and be positive about things i'll take the vaccine and as long as i don't grow a limb or look like quasimodo (laughs) i'm like down (laughs) to do it yes and people trust the science it's it's there and it and it works and it and it does great things for our society you know i know there's a lot of people that are scared of the vaccine i'm not a huge fan of like putting other like you know things, things like in vaccines you, yeah. in my body, but it, it in, in this situation, in this situation though, absolutely yeah. it, it, it helps it, and it's going to make things better. And you know, I, I've seen a lot of negative feedback about it too yeah. from certain people on social media, and it's just I feel like if you don't fully understand the science behind it, then don't really put it out there yeah. in a negative light. And also, light. the people that are saying negative shit, like, girl, some of y'all I know. Yeah. I know what you put in your mouth. Yeah. Like, yeah. I mean... I know what you be doing on right? the weekends. It's like, girl, I've seen you. Yes, exactly. <laughs> like, I know what like, you do, but you can you won't put the vaccine in your body, yeah. but you put all those other things and, in your body. Okay, and, I see. And, and, you know, if somebody works in the healthcare industry or works in pharmaceutical or, or has a really big you know, science background and they have their reasons why right. they're against it because of what they know, 
th- that is you know facts, then then I'm like okay, yeah, but you know that's that different makes sense. To some random just, people like I'm not. I'm like yeah. okay, Mary. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> calm down, right? Calm down, Mary girl. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, so just know know your shit before you start right. talking shit. It's you like know, you're doing too much now. Yeah. Um. But yeah. So I don't know. But with that being said, us. You know, I know we've been ragging on 2020 all year, but she deserves to be ragged on. Mm-hmm. Um. But looking forward to 2021. I am looking forward to 2021. I am. I'd like to see what the, the new year is going to bring. And yeah. Do you have any resolutions? I don't typically do resolutions. Mm-hmm. Like for me, it's just like, you know, it's always the same stuff. Like when I think about it, I don't really ever make them out loud, but it's like, I want to be healthy. Mm-hmm. You know, I want to, you know, make more money. I want to. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be happy. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like whatever happiness is. Cause I feel like we're always on like, I I'm always on like mm. the pursuit of happiness. Well, you know what and I mean? like, like whatever that means. And it, and it really, happiness is kind of dependent on the point in time that you're in, yeah. you know? So like happiness in 2020, it was a lot different than happiness right. in, you know, 2019, you yeah. know, our, our happiness in 2019 was going out and traveling and doing all this exactly. we did different things this year to try to make ourselves right. happy because we couldn't do those exactly. things exactly you know? so. yeah I, you're right but it's like i always want to find some sort of joy happy mm-hmm. to be living life and you know what i mean yeah. like so for me it's like i always i guess my resolution always every year if i have to make it is just to make the right decisions mm-hmm. because making the right decisions is a big deal. Yeah. And it's a big deal for me, whether it's health, whether it's mm-hmm. romance, whether, well, I can't say romance because that shit don't happen. <laughs> that, that, yeah. <laughs> don't that. Shit don't be happening. <laughs> okay, in 2020. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, whatever aspect of my yeah. life, I always feel like, but I don't typically make them but if you want if you want me to make yours for you i will be more than happy anybody <laughs> out there just hit me up i will tell you what you need to do with yourself. <laughs> i'm like and you what you need to do <laughs> it's so much easier to tell somebody yeah, else so what their resolution yeah, needs everybody to be. else did you make any or are you going to make any um i'm actually was thinking about what we said our resolution was on our on our episode from our 2019 wrap up. I I actually don't remember. I'm thinking about right now, but I'm sure we talked about some type of resolution. I probably said the Um, same shit. Yeah, I probably did. (laughs) But I was like thinking about what I said, and I I don't fully remember. But it could have had it could have dealt with real estate. And yeah, like so because I'm trying to get my license. I'm and I I've been trying for this whole freaking year. It feels like, yeah. and I just got super busy with work and got distracted, so I didn't get to focus on you know trying to get my license. But I am like a third through it, so well, my, my, I mean, my resolution for the next three it's months, four it. months <laughs> is to just get that fucking shit done. Yeah, <laughs> you know, so it's, it's hard. Not, it's not like it's hard, hard to like sit down yeah, and do yeah take the time. And yeah. there was a point in time where I was working probably like upwards of 60 hours a week. So it was just hard to balance. And then I kind of like lost motivation yeah. because of everything going on in the world. And so, but no, that that's part of my resolution. And then just to, you know, yeah, probably some of the same stuff you said. Yeah. Just it's just of, like be present. Yeah, you yeah. know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. being present is a big deal. And really just like yeah. take in everything that happened kind of like I said before and, you know, throughout 2020 and just, use that to f- better understand myself in 2021, better yeah. understand society and what the things that maybe need to be done to make the, you know, yeah, a better to be place involved to, and, you know. and just, you know, I've learned a lot about myself this year. Yeah. Like I've learned well, a lot I think about, a lot of yeah. us have, we've been, we've all been in situations mm-hmm. where you just kind of like, Ugh, nobody foresaw this. Yeah. The, you know, and just kind of like how I can handle <clears throat> things and like where my, my breaking points are and like, you know, just, it was an interesting year. I, yeah. A little part of it was not the greatest, and for me personally, yeah. like mentally, I had a hard time for for a couple. I think months. a lot of people did. Yeah, yeah, and then I kind of came out of it, and um, but yeah. So yeah. I guess just using all that going into the next year and just really kind of yeah, be better. I feel yeah, yeah. It was. It's been a tough year for a lot of people. Yeah, you know. But we are resilient people, and we will Absolutely. get through and move forward and. Probably this time next year, we'll be back to our party in ways. <laughs> <laughs> no, going out, having some fun, right, doing we'll some be traveling. Having a good old time again. Yes. Well, that's what I choose to think. Yeah. So, but with that being said, 
Uh, this episode is we're just gonna it's kind of a recap. Yeah, a little recap of the podcast. Yeah, um, kind of just the episodes we've done, you know, throughout the year. And, yeah, and kind of just like you know what. We maybe think about it now or, you know, like those those topics we covered, just yeah. kind of like if which ones were our favorite, which ones you should all listen to if you haven't, you know, yeah. like kind of just stuff like that. Just kind of go through it real, real quick. And yeah, you our know. friend Mike Vargas told us we should do he this. He did. Like, That's because we were just going to do a year in rap. And, yeah. and he's like, you guys should go through each episode. So thank Vargas. Yeah, kind of <laughs> just go through the podcast. I mean, yeah. this, is, this was the first whole year of our our podcast. So you know, just kind of a little recap. Yeah. And before we do this, I just want to say this. This is brought to you <laughs> by myaccurateservices.com. So what that is, is um, <clears throat> it's a COVID-19 um, PCR saliva test. It's like a home kit. So if you're looking for a home kit, go to myaccuratescreens.com. Um, My friend Mike, um, Amos, this is um, part of his his company or... Uh, they put these out. So I'm going to try it. I haven't tried it yet, but I did do, it looks like kind of what I did when we did the drive through mm -hmm. car test, you know, mm -hmm. uh, car test, the drive through car test, the <laughs> drive through uh, COVID test. Cause you know, you get a kit and you have to swap yourself and you put in a thing and send it back. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to try this. I'll let you guys know how it is after I do it. I'm going to send it in and stuff like that. But anyways, if you're looking for a home test for COVID. Yeah. I feel like that's a, they're very much being sought out still. Yeah. So. At this point, my stuff all better come back negative. Mm -hmm. So, you know, but, um, yeah. So should we just pop into, um, which yeah. episode that we, so I'm going to let you do that. Yeah. So like our, our, our first episode that was posted January 1st of 2020 was uh, the, uh, called bitch. We all need therapy. And it was with, our, our friend Nick Berry. And yeah, and it's kind of ironic <laughs> that that was the first episode in such a just tragic year. I know. You know, like it, it, it's, if people weren't doing therapy before, <laughs> right I'm sure more of those it. people are doing it now. Yeah. And, and so that's very relevant, I think, to, you know, it always is, but this yeah. has been a crazy year. So I thought that was a good, that was a good episode. Yeah, if you yeah. haven't listened to it, you should listen to that one. Um, yeah, I think therapy is important, you know? Um, oh, yeah. It doesn't necessarily have to be because you have some traumatic problems going on, but sometimes you just need to talk to somebody about things in your life. Yep. And that was a good one. I yeah, thought Nick was, was great. One. And yeah, that Definitely was a good one. Definitely take episode. a listen if, you, if you're looking for some therapy. Yeah, <laughs> seriously. There's resources on that one. Absolutely. Um, the next episode was kind of just a recap of 2019. Um, it was like our year-end episode of 2019. Uh, okay. Yes, after that. So, um, you know, we just talk, talked about talked 2019. About 2019. Listen, I can't even listen. remember. I know. So. Like, 2019 was a whole different life, yeah, it was lifetime. Like a lifetime ago, so I, um, I don't even want to But take a listen to episode point. seven. Um, episode eight and nine were both had to do with Atlantis. One was before we on the cruise. Oh, that's right. Yeah, before we went on the cruise and then after. And that was the last thing we basically did in 2020 oh that was God. like fun and free and before everything got locked down. So. Yeah, and that feels like just years ago. It does. Um, it really, I can't even believe it was this year that we yeah, did that. That was so much fun. I mean, had I have known, I probably would have did more stuff mm. on the cruise. <laughs> <laughs> I would have been more be wild, wild and free yep. and hoochie. Right. More. <laughs> I mean, that was in that was end in, of January. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. It just, I can't even believe we did that this year. I know. Yeah. It, it, it's kind of wild. But it was a really fun time that if you're looking to go on Atlantis cruises and you just want like more insight, like those episodes eight and nine kind of give you just some insight from people yeah. that have worked the cruises and people who've been on it. And, yeah. and so. Atlantis is not um, folding. They are still around. Yep. And probably in the spring is of next year is when they're planning on cruising again at this point. Yeah. So, yeah. So that's good. I'm glad because yeah. it's a great service. That oh, needs yeah. To be around. Definitely. I would have been so sad if they had. Oh, had, me too. Yeah. It's, it's a great service. So, yeah. And the, that, the first one was with our friend Guy who you know, works the cruises, but right. also goes as guests. And yep. and then the, the second one was with our, our friend George, my roommate. Because that was his first cruise. That was his first cruise. Yeah. So uh, you kind of get a different take on it from different angles. So, yep. um, But episode 10 was the our, our, our circuit life, our circuit scene um, kind um, of episode. Uh, just 
kind of talked about, you know, like <laughs> a little kind of how it's, yeah, yeah, inside to that. Like we weren't really ever circuit boys before. I think 2019 yeah, was, going. was where things started going more in that direction yeah. for us. So I and mean, I still maybe have nothing bad to say about that. I have some, no. I've had blast and you know, you party responsibly, but have an amazing time and, Everybody's happy at a circuit party. And circuit parties <laughs> are a good time. You know, yeah. it's all what you what it's, you're trying to get out of it. So. Yeah, it's about how you party. Mm-hmm. So it, it, it's fun. And I mean, little. don't get me wrong. I still like to drop it like it's hot and dip it and do it. But you know, <laughs> I can go in and out of any kind of scene. So <laughs> definitely. Yeah. Oh yeah, like. You know, you can't really twerk that much right. at a circuit party, but, you know. <laughs> to the Lady Gaga song. You can do a little two-step. <laughs> right. Yeah, seriously. Um, okay. Uh, we also had the episode 11 was where we kind of, we talked about, like, the social aspect of dating and, like, sex sites or dating uh, sites. Yeah, you know, like Grindr. Um, Grindr, and yeah. And all that. Scruff. I, I mean, okay, well, I haven't been doing anything, so. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, that episode now would be yeah. a lot different. Right, now it's like, well, first, I don't even think I'm on that many sites anymore. Mm-hmm. I've kind of deleted mostly everything except for i mean i still have grinder and i will go on but most of the time i'm in bed and these days going to bed at like 10 o'clock is super late for me and like again once i'm in bed chances are it's a wrap so um but you know social sites that's where we are in our society everybody's on social Mm -hmm. one way or the other everybody dates on social back in the day it used to be weird when you'd be like how'd you meet that person you'd be like online Mm -hmm. and now it's just normal so um but in the day and age of COVID, I guess you have to be really, really careful, especially if it's just like a, a flat out hookup site like Grinder. Yeah, that's know? where it's like changed a little bit. There's right. this, this, you know, we all have our needs and our urges. And, <laughs> yeah, everybody you know, needs to be touched. Everybody needs to be touched. <laughs> needs per to be touched. Stephen Henry, that is my saying in life. <laughs> it's my saying in life. <laughs> so it's it's been a difficult time. I mean, you're, yeah. you're if especially if you don't have a boyfriend, it's like you, you yeah. know, or or somebody you can regularly, right. You know, have sex with during COVID. Yeah. It's just you know, it's it's been tough to make that decision. Yeah. Okay. Like, can I go? Cause you're like, okay, should I? Yeah, should like, I, not? Like I don't really know guilt. you. Can we have some, a question and answer yeah. period first? Yeah. Yes. Like, like, let me ask you a couple of pertinent mm-hmm. questions before <laughs> I make up my mind. <laughs> so I feel like, you know, definitely my whole like view has changed on yeah. hooking up and doing oh, what, totally. you know, during this time, you know, I've you yeah, have my moments, but this it's been a lot different than yeah. it used to be to- for sure. I totally agree. So yeah, but um, so after weird. that was actually episode twelve is our our coronavirus episode with um, my roommate George, and that was that was in March, end of March. So that's, so that's when like we when it first, first yeah got yeah, like quarantined and kinda, stuff. Yeah, you know what's so funny about that episode and um, is like right when that happened. We were also excited because we had just changed the time. So we would like the days were going to be long until Mm -hmm. like nine o'clock. And that's typically when we just start going crazy and like Sunday fun days. Like we just knew. And then summer hits like we were about to tear it up. We were were like, girl, we had all these plans (laughs) that we never were going to be able to (laughs) go through with. We were about to. We were all so excited because we had just changed the time. (laughs) <laughs> and then, like, literally, <laughs> things shut down like the next weekend, right? Because we like, bitch, we about to fuck it up. Yep. But, like, we got the rest of the spring, we got summer, we got to do it. <laughs> boom. <laughs> she said, "Nope, nope, just kidding." Yeah, and we're all like, "Oh, like, well, not all of us, but some people were like, oh, maybe it'll just be like, you know, a month of no, oh, no, yeah, just no. like now we're going into 2021, yeah. still I was, numbers I, I, worse I, than they were yeah. before." I was definitely like, "Nope, this is gonna last for a while." Yeah, yeah. I was yeah. realist about that. Yeah, you were. You always were. You know. Whatever Steven Everybody says. Everybody was all mad at me, too. And I was like, well, it's true. <laughs> <laughs> You're being a Debbie Downer. I know. And I was like, like no, it's no, true. Oh, it was true. We literally didn't have the ability to do a lot of things this year yep. for quite some time still in that situation. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like tw- 13 and 14, episodes 13 and 14 were kind of, we talked about... Um, corn kikis oh right because yeah. that's what everybody was doing like really small little mm-hmm. gatherings of like your pot of friends yeah and doing that's like virtually yeah you know, it was all like 
there was a lot of like the virtual dance parties. Right. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah that that's... that got old for me real fast. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So yeah, we had Anthony on uh, episode fourteen, our, our one of our really good friends in uh, Cleveland. Yeah, we he called in. Yeah, oh, we called him. Yeah, and it, and it was just a that was an interesting time because we were all still trying to like have our own version of yeah. like having fun and partying, right. but it was actually really really like and pathetic. If you really, it really think was, about and it. also the numbers weren't that bad at the time, mm. like nowhere Compared near what they are now. Yeah, yeah. so you, I, I don't want to use the word freedom, but there still was a little bit of perceived mm-hmm. freedom. You know, you kind of thought like. Um, not everything was shut down and closed because mm-hmm. like LA is like a ghost town now. Like oh, you can't yeah. even go to a restaurant, you yeah. know? So there's literally nothing to do now. And it wasn't like that back then. And we were still doing a little like patio parties here at my mm-hmm. place. Like not a lot of us, but just like our small pod. And mm-hmm. um, yeah, and there was a, the, the dance parties, which I did like too. And I was like, I'm out. I know those were interesting. You know, yeah. I appreciate all the effort that everybody yes. put into them, you know, because they, they, right. there's definitely a, the circuit scene is still, there yeah. and um they tried their best to do it virtually and some people were probably into it i just there was a lot of people into know, it with the cameras because yeah. you dialed in and setting like, up their whole living room with yeah the strobe lights they were like things. yeah i mean i kind of like and they're the like <laughs> yeah and, and like some of the boys were still dancing and they're like jocks and harnesses mm-hmm. and i was like okay y'all do a little bit too much now <laughs> but mm-hmm. all right <laughs> a little too much <laughs> but uh, yeah but yeah we, people tried it's it's the effort yep um Episode 15 was a Ma'am, What Do You Think episode. So for people who don't regularly listen, Ma'am, What Do You Think is just a little segment we do at the end of our yeah. at each episode that kind of just, you know, we pick a, a card from these these cards that we have and we kind of just ask a question, Random Ma'am, question. What Do You Think About? And then it's usually something sexual, but not all the time. Yeah. Um, but yeah, and just kind of get a feel for a little, just a random segment random moment to try to better understand what somebody thinks about something yeah i like that i think we definitely should do it again in 2021 maybe we can take questions from our friends Mm -hmm. and stuff like that and oh yeah just like random questions or something like that and then do it i really liked it It, it, it's fun yeah it is fun it's a little just it's like random stuff yeah yeah lighthearted. yeah we'll do that again for sure uh 16 was a music is my boyfriend, which we kind of just we we talked about music yeah. throughout the decades, us growing up, like right. just really what we liked, you know, yeah. growing up and what we like listen to now and, and stuff. Yeah, yeah. So. No, I love that because music is such an important part of my life and always has been. Whether I'm listening to it, whether I was in band or choir or guitar or whatever it is. Um, yeah, and and I feel like we all have like musical influences that kind of partly shape who you are mm-hmm. to a degree. Yeah. You know, whether it's some diva who you grew up wanting to be yeah. or you know what I mean? Or you see somebody playing a guitar, or piano or something and that made you want to do that. And and also music, um, a lot of times you can't remember things or where you were at the time, but sh- when you hear a certain song, yeah. you knew where you were, you yep. knew what you were doing. It brings back a memory. It is a soundtrack you know? to your life. Mm-hmm. For me it is anyways. Yeah, music's always been a huge, huge influence on my life. Yeah. I've since I was a little kid. Yeah. It's just, like the soundtrack to like you, like I said, you may not be remember the dates, mm-hmm. but when you or whatever, but you hear a certain song, you knew you were at the skating rink yep. and you, you yeah. were like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. Yeah. It could so. be good memories. It could be bad memories. Right. I mean, it was this just, is when we broke up I and I played the song over and over. <laughs> <laughs> or like, you know, it's just, it's very like for me, music has always like, you could turn a performance on mm-hmm. and I will literally just, if I, especially if I like it, I just, I, I focused on it. Like yeah. I've always been very, like there's some people I feel like that come not super interested in watching performances or watching live, live music yeah. as much, you know, and most people like music, but I'm just saying like, I was, I was always, even since I was a little kid, like someone, if a music video was turned on, yeah. I would just stop what I was doing. I would just stare at the TV, you know? Oh my God. I became a dancer and started teaching dance because of Janet. Mm-hmm. I mean, in Michael too, but I wanted to dance more like jazz Janet, funk yeah. like Janet did. And that's why I danced and taught, yep. you know, it was like inspiring when I was growing up. So yeah, yeah music is a big part. Yep. Definitely, you know, uh, both of our lives. So that's one of the things that we really have in common too. Yeah, it is. It is yeah. definitely. Um, we also did an episode uh, seventeen uh, with our our friend Jonathan um, on health and fitness. Oh, well, yeah, he's a trainer. So just be healthy, stay fit. Yeah, that's health the and fitness. Is like, do that. your best. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like I guess that's all I can really say, yeah. especially during COVID. Definitely. 
Um, and we definitely we got actually a, an interesting episode. The one after that, episode eighteen, we we talked about pride, um, oh, right. kind of what it means to us. But we also um, phoned in my cousin Lexi. Lexi. Hi. Um, so we had, <laughs> we had a, we had a a girl on for a pride episode, which was a little interesting. But it, it was good. Yeah, it was a good take. It was you know yeah. a good show of support from an ally. A good yeah. you know just. It was it was a good episode. Yeah, I, I like I like that episode, and it was kind of like our tribute to Pride because it would have been happening around that time, mm-hmm. like all the Prides, and you know, clearly they all got canceled. And most like um, our our Pride parade turned into a Black Lives Matter mm-hmm. parade. But yeah, that would have been a time for Pride. You know, like they start up and everywhere they just kind of go one after the next. Yeah. But you know, nothing happened clearly. Um, but yeah, so that was a good episode. I thought. Yeah. I agree. It was fun. Um, we also had nineteen episode nineteen was a, our first music review. Oh right, <laughs> we talked about Lady Gaga's Chromatica album. Yeah. Um, well, so more to come of those in twenty twenty one. Yeah, I um, would love to do more music reviews. Yeah. and and I I want to throw in like movie like gay movie yep. themed reviews. Yeah, it, so just, that's coming too. Everybody likes to hear. You know, I think I think maybe even doing things that are maybe less popular just because yeah. like, those are like the things that people might not know about yeah. you know give some insight so more yeah. to come on that yeah and and um we both like the album yeah so. <laughs> yeah, i know we really did it was a huge uh, there was a lot of great music this yeah. year a lot of great albums um, yeah, there was. It, oh there God. really were. Still they like still coming. Them. Yeah, you know? like, so yes, that was one good takeaway of yep. 2020 was music. Yep, definitely. So I that that was one of the first ones. Uh, you know, there was also you know Dua Lipa and like yeah. Miley came out with one now. Kylie's disco album. Oh, I mean, there's just Kylie. There's a lot of good. Like Hallie and Chloe, which were yeah. still bumping. Yeah. Oh, so good. Anyway, good good year for music. Yeah. Um, episode 20 was actually a really interesting episode. We we talked about. Um, HIV and AIDS, but more so are we are we have a friend uh, Jeff yes uh, Kawakami yep and um, he kind of told a story. Uh, oh my god, you guys have to go and listen he, to this episode. It's a very very um, interesting story. Yeah, um, kind of messed up, right? And uh, you know he had just a very interesting journey in life. So I think episode twenty is definitely worthwhile to that take a listen to. That might have been my favorite episode I, I think, of the year. I think it was it was definitely one of my top. Yeah, three, for I mean sure. it's just Jeff had such an interesting story, mm-hmm. and you know, and our views of of HIV AIDS uh, for most of us has changed over the years for the better, mm-hmm. I believe. Um, but his story is just, it's wild. It, yeah, it is. It's a wild, it's just, it, it's, it's something you story. hear and you're like, what? Yeah. You know, so I, you know, I'm going to give it away. If yeah, you, you but, just, but just, listen to that. Yeah. Go, go back and listen to that if you have not. If mm-hmm. you have, then you know what we're talking about. <laughs> yeah. yeah. De- definitely. Um, Twenty Episode 21 was more, we, we talked about just, we went to Palm Springs for my birthday, uh, a small oh, group yeah. of us. So. Um, we kind of just talked about that, you know. Yeah, that was fun. It yeah. was it was nice to get away. You know, that was nice, even though you have to whisper in Palm Springs. I know. Like, you can't even like talk in your regular voice. We couldn't. We had to be super quiet. Because they were so of, strict. They really are. About noise in yeah. Palm Springs. That was a little upsetting because it was the first time we finally, you know, decided, okay, yeah. we're, co- we're comfortable enough to go with these select people yeah. to go stay in a house. And then it was like, it was certain things happened there that was kind of put a damper a little bit on the weekend. And so, you know, but whatever, we still got away. We still enjoyed it. It it kind of almost makes you want to stay in like a hotel of some sort. Cause Mm -hmm. at least in a hotel, you know, you can turn your music up and I don't know. I mean, I get the, 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 the noise ordinance. Yeah. But it's kind of extreme. If you ask me, it is like, no, like, no music during the day yeah. at all. Like, like they don't even outside. want you to pay music off your phone. Mm-hmm. You're like, okay, it's just a little, girl, a little you've been crazy. extra. Yeah. But anyways, but yeah, um, episode twenty two. Uh, this is another, I think, a very good episode and a must listen. Is the divas episode we did with our friend Tom and Drew? Oh, that was good. Yeah, we kind of just 
uh, talked about our, our divas yeah. growing up and what they are now and, yeah. you know, what makes them our diva, whether it's, you know, Janet or Mariah or, yeah. you know, Madonna or Britney or whoever it may be. Like, it was a good episode. We I think it was, I want to say that was our first time we had two guests. It was. Yeah, so it was a little... Um, it was interesting having a fourth person, yeah. but it was great having that extra insight. Yeah. It was really, that was a fun one because um, divas for, and not every gay man, so I don't want to hear it. Well, not me, but <laughs> you know, because there's always some gay boy like, I'm not, okay, girl, you're going against the grant, fine. But um, divas for a lot of gay boys are a part of life. You mm-hmm. know, a lot of you grow up liking this diva, you relate to them for whatever reason. And um, just to hear everybody kind of say, you know, who they liked and why they liked them and why they kind of pledged their loyalty to them, because you do. (laughs) You know what I mean? Like, how often do you hear gay gay arguments about, about you know what I mean? It's like, it's legit. Hey, I'm going to talk about so-and-so and and then you're going to be mad. Oh, Beyonce. I didn't even say Beyonce when I was listening them out right now. Yeah. yeah, Beyonce's mine. I know. But that was was really... um, that was a good one. I really like yeah. that. We'll have to do more on divas, maybe a more in depth um, one on like each diva or yeah. something like that. You know, or the ones we like anyway. The ones y'all like, you do your own <laughs> show. Uh- <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we also had this is another. We had a, a quite a few really good ones in a row. Um, episode twenty three was uh, with. Uh, Miss Amber Crane. Oh my God! The female illusionist extraordinaire. I love Amber. We um, were just messaging the other day. I was like, I miss you. <laughs> oh, like it was. It was such a great episode. So yeah. much. That, that's what I love about doing these these um, things and the podcast and having guests on is like you you get to hear people's stories and yeah. journeys. So, yeah, I, even some of the guests we've had on, I feel like I've only known so much about them. Yeah. Before we've had them on and then you just find out more and then yeah. they're putting it out there for other people and it's just it's just a great experience. And yeah. I think Amber was a, a great example of that. Like she just was. and she's just funny as hell. And you're like, right. she's <laughs> hilarious. And she's just fabulous and she knows how to turn out outfits. Yep. So follow Amber Crane on Instagram yeah, <laughs> because absolutely. you will not regret it. If you want to hear more of her story, just yeah. listen to episode twenty three. Yeah. Um but yeah, and then the following one after that was with our, our wonderful friend DJ Dan Slater. Dan. Um yeah, that was a good episode as well. You get to hear about his journey and how he DJs all over the world right. and how he got to that point and um yeah, great. and also how he was affected during COVID yep. trying to work and make money. Yeah. And um also Same thing, yeah, Amber talked about that too. Yeah. yeah. And also, Dan, you owe us a song. Yeah, you do. And you know what I'm talking about. So get it together, man. We're we're trying to get hooked up here. (laughs) I know. Come on, Dan. Get it together. You owe us. Uh, But no, that was was a lot of fun. That was a good episode. Mm -hmm. A lot of people actually really liked that one. That one, a lot of people listened to that episode. Yeah. Which I would expect. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. With Dan. Especially with his following. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, Episode 25 was uh, kind of about go-go dancing. Um in West Hollywood and our, our friend Chaz yeah. was on and that was a really good episode as well. He's, he now is a Pilates instructor. Yeah. Um, but, but he know. gave a little insight on what it was like when he was dancing in that world mm-hmm. and, um, crazy world. how you can get caught up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Although all those boys are unemployed right now, I don't know what they're I doing. Know, I know. I know. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I actually feel bad too it's because like, you know, it's, that's how you make money mm-hmm. for a lot of people. And you make a living like that, and it's just been tough. But, yeah, yeah he gave um, some real good insight. Yeah, he did. Yeah. Talked a lot about Pilates, too. Yeah. He's Actually, a great instructor. I was going to say so, that. Yeah. yeah, we did one of his a mini class, mm-hmm. um, and he's great, and I would love to do more. Yeah. So we, ha- we have to make that happen. Agreed. Yeah. Um, episode 26 was just our summer wrap-up. Just kind of talking about the summer, what yeah, we, what, yeah. all the crazy things I we know, did the during wild COVID. Things yeah, we did, literally just cr- like sitting at each other's apartments know, every right, weekend, basically like not doing anything. We sat on a patio. Yep, that, that was, was pretty much it. Yeah, our I summer. Think, yeah, that probably was. I don't. I don't even think that was a very long episode. Uh, yeah, I don't think so either. Well, you know, twenty twenty, it didn't deserve to. Be. Uh, I know, not the But I yet. will say it's been a it's been an interesting year to record podcast. Episodes it has been because you know. We just used to do so much more, right? And we had so much more to, to talk about, and we we made it work, and we've had guests on yeah. still, and um, and luckily and fortunate for that. But like, it's just it's been an interesting yeah. year, and I know it's 
probably, you know, maybe a little less people are listening to podcasts. Is, well, because people aren't in their cars. Yeah, they're not traveling yeah. around. There's and, no but, commute. Exactly. So like the that. people that are listening still, like, props to you. Thank you. You know, like, I mean, it just... And also, we're just happy. truly um, very interesting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to pat ourselves on the back a little bit. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, the, but yeah, the next, we had episode 27 was a uh, episode with our friend Eddie called The Miracle Warriors. Oh, uh, he was in a, he, uh, the episode's called Miracle Warriors, but it's also his um His uh, organiz- non-profit. Yeah, non-profit. Yeah, he's non-profit. got a non-profit. Yeah. And it deals with a lot of like sexual abuse victims mm-hmm. and um, survivors, and um, you can look them up too in, in his Instagram. It's a really um, he's doing a they're doing a lot of good for the community, yep. and and there's a lot of things that he does. And like sometimes they look on Instagram and they're like cleaning up and mm-hmm. hiking, and and I'm like, oh, I'm down. Maybe not for the cleaning up part, but everything. <laughs> <laughs> You're such a bitch. No, right. <laughs> No, we should. We should. No, but we you should know. take part, help the yeah, community. Yeah, exactly. And, you know, yeah. you I know. do need to do do better, do more. That can but be part of our resolution for twenty twenty one. I know, but yeah, he has a, he has a great story as well, and yeah. um, you know, I think a lot of people should listen to that, especially if they've been through something that they haven't really talked to a lot of people about. Yeah. I think it could potentially help. You know, yeah, and there's here. resources in that mm-hmm. episode of like, you know, if you need to reach out to somebody and talk to somebody, um, we we give resources. Mm-hmm. He does too. So yep. um, that was a good one. Well, that was a serious one. But I mean, we had a lot of humor in that too, though. Yeah. But it was a serious topic, but it was really good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Um, episode 28, was kind of just Halloween past and present. We, you know, kind of talked about oh, what right. Halloween used to be, maybe versus what it was this and year. All of our hoochie outfits. Oh yeah, but yeah. Halloween West Hollywood is just oh. pretty wild and crazy, and it's a big, big time of the yeah. year. Normally, I can't wait for it to be next year. It'll be great. Yes, because you know everybody's going to be on like a thousand. So <laughs> no, everyone next year is going to be nuts. Once once things start, once things open, up. people are going to be like nuts. Once I get my vaccine, I'm going to be ready. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Like, shoot me up! I know, right? <laughs> that arm ready. Yep. Um, but yeah, the I think this was an, another one of my favorite episodes was uh, twenty nine with when we talked about the election and Biden oh, winning, right. and George was on that one as well. But yeah, uh, yeah, I just that was a a great moment um, to talk about because there's just been so much bad things right. happening this year that that was a good thing for it was a great thing. most of us yeah. you know and we were jubilant yeah. we were like yes, yes. i mean it partying was, in yeah. the street having fun that was a fun part like mm-hmm. i mean how the cities is most especially the major cities like everybody was just partying in the streets and relieved and to be a part of that is like history yep. you know absolutely absolutely so. it was a, it was a great time i cried like multiple times that day yeah, no, it was that just was, emotional God, i had so much fun that yeah. day um and then the last episode before this one was how the Rona did eventually get us before the year oh my ended. God, bitch <laughs> she got said, us. "Uh, uh-uh, you thought you were gonna get through she 2020 said, with no COVID." Uh-uh. She, uh, mm, she snatched us right on she back. Snatched us. She snatched us. Yeah, she got us good. But yeah. you know, again, like we said on the last episode, I'm just grateful that we all made it through. Nobody had to go to the hospital. Um, cause you don't know how it's going to yep. hit you. You don't know if you're going to be the person that's sick or, you know, death or yeah. if you're going to have no symptoms whatsoever, asymptomatic, like you don't know. So yeah. I was very nervous about it and concerned cause I was concerned about myself and everybody else. I just did not want that to be the case. And luckily we pulled through. Yep. Everybody seems to be back healthy. to healthy and normal mm-hmm. and, um, thank Jesus for that. Yeah. But um, no. God, we tried our best to get through it. We did, and then we didn't even do some crazy thing to get it. It just happened, yeah. and um, you know we were pretty good most of the year for the most part. You yeah. know, one of these days I'll tell you the story of how we got it, <laughs> <laughs> like the real story. <laughs> one of these days, we're not getting in one of those moods. <laughs> When you're really ready to take a bite of that apple. Yeah, you take know. a bite of that apple. No, we're just um, trying to be nice right now. I know. <laughs> right now. <laughs> yeah, no, we're, we're nice people most of the time. Um, but yeah, I'm just glad that we all made it 
through that. Yeah. Cause, gosh. I know I there's mean, been a lot of people that have suffered a lot worse and or not even made it. So, uh, you know, it's crazy it's, it's how the a, numbers have spread. Yeah, I know. It really has. It's almost like somebody looks at you and you get I it. I know. You're like, shit. It's wild. Yeah. But hopefully next year will be better and, yeah. you know. And now we're here on this episode. I know. Here we are. <laughs> yeah. um, it's hard to believe that we actually had that many episodes this year. I know. Like, it's crazy. It goes by so fast. It even really even when you don't have shit to do. Yeah. It you goes know? by. When you have COVID keeping you home and not out as much, it's like the year still flew by somehow. It did. Because literally, I just worked and watched Netflix. Mm-hmm. So. <laughs> <laughs> it was the extent of it. Right. Went to my apartment and I came to your apartment. Exactly. Like, that was that about was, it. That was pretty much it. Yeah. The time has kind of gone by kind of quickly. But. Yeah. Um, the episodes have flown by as well. Absolutely. But that's okay. The 2021 is going to bring us more new, exciting, fun episodes yeah. and interesting ones. And I don't know. I'm kind of ready for it. I am too. Yeah. All right. And with that said, in the 2020 wrap up, I guess we'll get into our final segment. Ma'am, what do you think? Yes. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I love those. <laughs> um, yeah. So, ma'am, what do you think is our little segment where we kind of read the question yeah. uh, off of a card? Yeah. And kind of we described it earlier, but there it is. <laughs> no, here it is. <laughs> uh, ma'am, what do you think about going home with a stripper? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I had to get this one. I may have done it a time or two in my life. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Well. I, I, this card is especially for Steven. Because I always know every stripper in the club. <laughs> so I guess, I mean, to be fair, they're like go-go dancers. I they're go-go they're dancers. Like but the thing is, a lot of them used to take my dance class back in the day. <laughs> so, um, well, back then. Now, I don't know. When we get out of this, it's probably going to be a whole new slew of them. But <laughs> I may have gone home with one or two, or maybe brought them home with me. To <laughs> two. Yeah, you probably did. So that is fun. <laughs> <laughs> actually, the first guy that actually became my actual boyfriend was in Texas, was a go-go dancer, and I met him while he was dancing. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Steve, in, in case anybody wants more details <sighs> on this um Steven usually knows most of the go-go dancers in the bar. Right. But I tip and I have my dollars ready. <laughs> he just, that's, that's his thing. I just know they that. They have to make a living. I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh, well, what do you think about, because you have two. I mean, probably not as frequently as you or often as you in the past. But, but you have. I, I've, I've, I have. I've definitely. I, I mean, actually I've, think of two right off the top okay, of my head. you know. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, I definitely, I've done it. Um, (laughs) right off the top of my head. Uh, yeah, I've been in a couple interesting, I mean, not even just like, I mean, this is about says strippers. So like, I'm going to say go-go dancer. I feel like like the better term is go-go dancer. Porn star. (laughs) Well, that's different. (laughs) Although some are both. So yeah, I don't know. Some are both. Which you know, I think we both done. <laughs> <laughs> I think we probably. <laughs> <laughs> but we're in LA, so it's like a go-go dancer and stripper. There's a lot. <laughs> yeah, it's just interchangeable. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot. But although I know some that are legit dancers, and they do it to make ends meet, yeah. and then they go on to do whatever dancing gigs they have. Yeah, yeah. It's not always like a. I've actually, a sexual but I guess thing. to answer that question, I haven't gone home with an actual stripper. But because you've hooked up with them. Uh, well, you don't go home with them that night unless you have to wait till they get off work at like two. But like a str- like a stripper, wait, like, isn't that a go go dancer? No, like a stripper, like don't they like fully strip? Go go dancers are already up there with the speedo on. But like, I've just assumed that they were the same thing. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I, I mean, in my mind, like a, like, strip show. They're like taking off. See, their clothes. I've always thought that go go dancer like is the more cuter word. Like it. politically correct word to say <laughs> of a stripper, because to me a stripper's always just been like a boy on the dick dancing on the box. Yeah. To me, like I never thought a stripper was somebody who just got naked. I just thought it was like I don't know. I guess I haven't been to enough like official like strip clubs to really know. Well, I've never. I went to one for a bachelorette party, which was 
But they don't get naked unless they, they're like they in really, Puerto They really don't. They, if anything, they just like show their ass. But right. like, they don't like get naked, naked. Yeah. I mean, unless you're like in a different country. Yeah. Because we've, well, I'm sure there are some places in the US where they do it. But the places I've seen is like Puerto Vallarta, Paris. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh yeah, God. Paris. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Go back to that. Ooh, my fan, girl. <laughs> Ooh. Like, Jesus. Ooh. And now I knew why everybody got into the club right before he did his show in the shower. Because, jeez. Listen, listen to that podcast yeah. episode about our oh, trip in God. Europe. And uh, but yeah, understand. so anyways, well, I guess that's what we think about that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh man. God. Yes. But anyways, uh, thank you for listening to our, our wrap up on 2020 and our highs and our lows from this year. Yeah. And, um, you know, if you want to follow me, you can at uh, Adman2005, Stevens at, at Green Eye Steve. But uh, more importantly... Follow our podcast page, which is Adam and Steve Podcast. Yes, please follow that um, on, on Instagram. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, so, but thank you for listening. I hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, remember that uh, God made Adam and Eve, but he also made Adam and Steve. Any problems? Pray, pray about, about it. it.